Lord, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord, Yeshua. You are wonderful. You are mighty. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you adoration. We come here, Lord, tonight to lift up your name. We thank you for the healing atonement that you have given us. We thank you for what you've purchased in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive our healing. We receive our deliverance. We receive everything that you've done. Lord, you are so beautiful. We lift your name up. We exalt you, Adonai. We love you, Lord. We love you, Father. We welcome you here, Holy Spirit. We welcome you here. I thank you that we are the head and not the tail, that we are above and not beneath, that no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. No sickness or plague will come near our dwelling right now. I speak to the sickness. I speak to the plagues. I speak to the diseases. I speak right now to those spirits of death, and I command them to be bound and restricted and get out of you in the name of Jesus. I thank you and I praise you, Father, for what you want to release tonight. I thank you that you have birthed this healing service, Jesus, that you purchased our healing, that you purchased our deliverance. And I thank you and I praise you and I bless you, Father God. I bless you, Adonai. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some praise. Pray in the name of Jesus. Just pray and bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Just cultivate an atmosphere. Cultivate an atmosphere right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Just cultivate that atmosphere. We love you, Father. We bless you, Jesus. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. You are holy. You are mighty. You are worthy. You are holy. You are mighty. You are worthy. You are holy and you are mighty. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Adonai. We bless you, Jehovah. We bless you, God. We bless you, Father. We thank you. We praise you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We bless the name of the Lord. Come on, give him praise in advance of what he is going to do. Give him praise. Come on, lift his name up high. Tell him he is worthy, that he is holy. Tell him how much you love him. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glorify you, God. We magnify you. We thank you, Jesus, for purchasing our healing. We thank you, Jesus, for purchasing our deliverance. I thank you that miracles are going to break out tonight. Hallelujah. Guys, I know expectation is a breeding ground for miracles. I know God has a phenomenal night for us in store. I know there's going to be miracles. The last time that we did a service like this. We saw 27 miracles manifest during the services, people getting instantly healed during the services. And that is my expectation for tonight. What is your expectation for tonight? Drop it in the comment, whatever your expectation is for tonight, whatever you want the Lord to do for you, drop your expectation. Let's stand in agreement right now in the name of Jehovah. Let's stand in agreement for what the good Lord is going to do. Hallelujah. We bless your name. I tell you guys, we are so pumped up and excited. My husband is here in the studio with me. We have been in prayer for you. We have been in worship for you. I have been like praying all day. I feel such a burden for the body of Christ to get healed. And I tell you, we're going to stand in faith. We are going to stand in faith. I believe God for the full manifestation of your healing. I believe it. And so the biggest thing that I want you to do tonight is I want you to participate in your own healing. And there is so much power in speaking out and decreeing. And so I want you to do two things. I want you to be speaking out and decreeing wherever you're at for your healing. I want you to be speaking out and decreeing. And I want you to be typing in a comment all the time so that I can be <clears throat> praying on those comments so I can be standing in agreement with you. I want you to use that comments as your audible voice too, and just be praising God and expecting him to show up mightily. But guys, guess what? We're going to open our services tonight with our shofar. My husband's in the background here and he is going to blow the shofar and I'm expecting some of you to get healed as the sound of the shofar blows. Yes, glory, glory, glory. All right, guys, let's start by praying. Let's bind and 
restrict the demonic realm from attacking this meeting right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind and I destroy all demonic network communications with the blood of the lamb. I bind all spiritual chatter. I silence the mouth of the adversary and his cohorts. I command all chatter dispatched against us, our family and ministry to stop immediately in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all evil assignments to backfire in Jesus name. All enemies deployed against your life, against this meeting, against our family and ministry. Be released of that assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Demonic portals be closed, sealed up and welded shut by the fire of God. I command demonic databases to be vanquished, destroyed, and disintegrated by the fire of God. I call forth the disassembly of all demonic troops against you. I call off all demonic whoo, deploys and operations in the name of Jesus. I send interference into the enemy's camp to destroy his organizational tactics against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I call forth people that are praying and operating against you to leave right now. I command those curses to be exposed and released of their assignment right now in the name of Jesus. Guys, I'm just feeling the glory of God coming into this right now. I'm feeling the fire of God just coming in right now. So I speak and I decree to you and I command the fire of God to come and apprehend your enemy. I command the fire of God to come and burn up every spirit of cancer, every eye disease, in the name of Jesus Christ. I command, there's someone that has an elbow issue. I command that healed the fire of God just to come against every demonic assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. I command autoimmune diseases to go to reverse the curse in the name of Yahweh, in the name of Yahshua Messiah. There's someone that there, your womb needs to be opened. You want kids in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that womb to be opened in Jesus Christ's name. Guys, I have had so many testimonies, so many letters, so many pictures of people who could not get pregnant and they got pregnant. In my book, Speak Out, I have a declaration on infertility. Guys, I did not put declarations in this book, but the Lord quickened me to put one on infertility. And my proofreader got healed while she was approving the book and got pregnant. Glory to God. And so if you need that, guys, if you need to learn how to release the power of declaring prayer, this is on my website for only $7.99. Come on, guys. $7.99. You have that much to invest in your future. So I speak to those people right now that have infertility, and I command your wound to open. I command that spirit of control to go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against Parkinson's disease right now, and I command that that infirmity. I command that demonic affliction to go. I command the jitters, the shakes. I command the memory lapses. I command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for what you want to release. Guys, take one minute. Share this right now. People need this. People need healing. I think everyone in the world has something that they need healing from. So I need you to share this. Go to your Facebook. Go to your YouTube. To a quick share this with your friends. Take a moment, text a friend, and say, You got to get on. The glory of the God is here. And guys, I want to tell you, I have seen the most miracles break out, the most miracles manifest when the glory of God is here. Thank you, Mike, for sharing. When the glory of God is here, and that's what we were praying, and the glory of God came in our home. And I tell you right now, the glory of God came down to this studio, and I've seen the most miracles. If you want a healing miracle, if you want a breakthrough, you got to get in the glory of God. You got to get in the glory. How do you get in the glory? You pray and worship. You pray and worship and you adore him. You adore him because he is so, so
so, so worthy. Thank you, um, Tandy, for sharing that. Hallelujah. Come on, guys. Yes, people need to know. People need to experience the glory of God. Come on. Come on, guys. I'm expecting miracle breakthroughs right now. Drop what you need a miracle breakthrough for right now. One of the words of knowledge I was getting was headaches. And I command your serotonin levels to be normal in the name of Jesus Christ. I command shoulder pain to loose you and let you go in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to those spirits of cancer. I command bitterness and unworthiness to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for what you want to release. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We command inflammation to get out in the name of Jesus. Joint pain, get out in the name of Jesus. Diabetes, I command your cells to receive insulin in Jesus Christ's name. I command diabetes to get out in the name of Jesus. Guys, we'll do some teaching too, but I want to pray because right now the glory is here and I just feel like God wants us to release. So I want to release in the name of Jesus. I command inflammation to get out of you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I come against high blood pressure. I command stress and anxiety to leave those that have high blood pressure right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. High blood pressure. I I curse you. Hypertension, I command you out. I speak peace and life and rest into you. I command your blood pressure will be 110 over 70 in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We thank you. Hallelujah. I just pray deliverance right now. Stress, anxiety, worry, fear. Loose them and let them go. Every mind-binding spirit that is keeping you locked down in a place of fear, I command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you in the name of Jesus. I pray for those with obesity. I pray for those with food addictions right now. And I command your apostat control center to come into alignment with the word of God. I command spirits of gluttony to go. I command generational obesity to break off and loose you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I call forth Holy Spirit that you will convict them of their emotional um, strongholds that's causing them to eat in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak and decree that their bodies shall be a temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We praise you and we thank you, Father God. I thank you right now. I thank you right now. Hallelujah. We glorify your name. Put it up in the comments if you're feeling the presence of Lord. If you're feeling the glory of God, put it up in the comment. Be like, I am feeling God all over this. If you are feeling something um, manifesting in your body right now, something good, something positive, if you're feeling a healing, just put that down in there. Let us stand in agreement with you guys. This is a healing service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you guys. I'm, I'm seeing those comments. You're feeling it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Guys, I want you to take a minute. The one thing that can provide our healing is on forgiveness. And so I want you to be like, I forgive. Just type it up in the chat. I want you to be like, I forgive. Think about that person who maybe irritates you, that person who you've had this love-hate relationship, this person that you have had a hard time forgiving. We got to just forgive. Why? Because Jesus said to do it. To Jesus said to do it. Jesus said to to forgive. We don't always have to feel like it. We're doing it because it's the right thing to do. And we want to close every demonic portal. We want to close every target of the enemy. We want to close every door that he can get into us. And unforgiveness is one of those doors. And so I want you to speak that out. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. If you guys are having a hard time forgiving, I have my book on Shackled, Breaking the Strongholds of Your Past to Receive Complete Freedom. Guys, this I've been able to lead people through unforgiveness. They're like, Kathy, I don't have anyone I need to forgive. And they read this book and they're in, and it's just one chapter on forgiveness, guys. And they read it and they're like, oh my goodness, I had someone, I had a pocket. This also, guys, has in there a whole entire, it's like three chapters in one on food addictions to help people break. But it's control, intimidation, anger, fear, rejection, the top 10 strongholds, tells you what demons 
demons to cast out, how to work through it. I want to encourage you, head over to Kathy at DeGrawMinistries.org. It's on sale and it's going to help you forgive yourself. There's repentance, renunciation, prayers. So right now you forgave other people, right? So I want you to say, I forgive myself because that's the other open door that the enemy uses when we don't forgive ourselves. Okay. We need to forgive ourselves. And I want to tell you, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's really difficult to forgive ourselves, but we got to say it. I forgive yourself. And so I want you to think of what do you have right now? What shame, what blame, what condemnation, what regret, what do you have? What can't you forgive yourself? Did you have an abortion and you can't forgive yourself? Did you steal or an embezzle from a company and you can't forgive yourself? Did you lie and you can't forgive yourself? What can't you forgive yourself for? Right now, I'm even hearing like somebody raped someone and can't forgive themselves. I want you to say, I forgive myself. For those of you in food addiction and food bondage, okay, that shame, that unworthiness, that guilt, that blame, that regret, I want you to say, I forgive myself right now in the name name of Yahshua Messiah. And guys, sometimes you can't say it and you got to just keep muster it out. Just be like, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Do it. Don't let the devil bind your tongue. Don't subject it to your brain. Just be like, God purchased it all. His son, Jesus took it all at the cross so that we can forgive ourselves. We want to close every doorway to sickness and disease. And unforgiveness is our main doorway that leads to sickness and disease, guys. So come on right now. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Look at that. Woo! Jesus. Look at that. Woo! Jesus. I'm feeling the glory of God all over this. Come on. Hit share, guys. Hit share. We need people getting this. We need people seeing the power of God. We need people seeing the power of forgiveness. We need people. We need people healed. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Forgive those who have offended you. Who's offended you? Who's rejected you? Forgive them right now. Right now. Make it a now moment. Who's rejected you? Forgive them. Who's offended you? Forgive them right now. Who's hurt you? Forgive them right now. Forgive them right now. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love that. Latasha says, I forgive church people. I think we all need to forgive church people. Thank you, for Latasha, for just being so vulnerable and putting that up. Come on, guys. Think about that pastor. Think about that prophet. Think about that ministry leader. Maybe it was your mentor. Maybe it was a congregation member. Who do you need to forgive? Come on, release them right now. Release them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Father God, that you would expose right now everyone they need to forgive. I thank Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you will convict them right now to forgive. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. I love this. Come on, guys. Press in, press in, press in, press in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes, yes. Thank you, Mickey, for forgiving church people. Yes, come on. Come on, guys. Forgive those who didn't value you, who didn't hear your opinion, who didn't elevate you to a different position in the church, who rejected you, who betrayed you, who didn't like your idea, who offended you. Hallelujah. Who didn't speak life into you. Forgive them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you and I thank you, Father. I give you glory. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We magnify your name. Come on, fill them up with peace. I speak shalom peace over you right now. I speak shalom peace and where every place that has been stolen, killed, and destroyed against you, I just speak and decree that the Lord is going to give you back so much more in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Okay, now just worship him, guys. Just worship him and praise him. We got all the unforgiveness out, okay? Now we just want to worship him. We want to praise him and tell him how great he is. Just allow him to love upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak and decree right now for your complete and total healing as you worship the Father, as you worship the Son, as you worship the Holy Spirit. I thank you and praise you, Father God, for what you want to release. I thank Thank you for what you want to establish right now in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Yeshua Messiah. I speak and decree for that spirit of unforgiveness that has been in you, that spirit of offense that has been in you to leave 
in the name of Jesus. Get out right now in the name of Jesus. For those of you that have had really strong offense and really strong unforgiveness, type up and speak out right now. I break agreement with unforgiveness. I break agreement with offense and I command it out of my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Woo! Mm, Jesus. Wow. I'm feeling that go off of you right now. Who just felt that leave you? Put that in there. Be like I did. I felt it leave or I felt something. I just felt that unforgiveness leave you. I felt that offense leave you. I just felt that the heavens just come down and flush through you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on. Come on, if you feel like there's anything left that's like lodged in there, be like, I break agreement with that. I'm releasing this unforgiveness. I'm releasing forgiveness today. I love people, okay? Uh, bless those. The Bible says, bless those who persecute you. Bless those who you come into that offense with, guys. Bless them. Say, God, bless them. Okay. We want to close every door, every door, because you're going to get healed. You're going to get delivered. And we don't want the enemy to have anything against you to be able to come back on you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Yeshua. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Who's feeling some freedom? Who's feeling some victory already? Come on, come on. Who's feeling freedom? Who's feeling victory? Hit share so some of your friends can feel that freedom and feel that victory. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you adoration, Father. We bless the name of the Lord. Glorify your name. Glorify your name, Father God. We worship you. We thank you for what you're doing. There's headaches leaving right now. So, someone's had like chronic headaches, migraines. God is saying no more, no more. It's a word of knowledge. No more, no more, no more. Um, I felt like a few minutes ago, something went through someone's spine and they got healing in their spine. Who, check your spine, whoever had spinal issues, and see if there's something different. Get up and walk, uh, bend over. Um, I heard the word spine, that the Lord was healing. Oh, Jesus. I, I just feel it again. Whew, I think there's like 10 of you is what I'm hearing right now that have a spine issue that the Lord is healing right now. Um, you're getting to create a miracle. I see a little bit of even curvature of the spine, and I see that just um, uh, being released off of you and your spine straightening up. Hallelujah. Vanessa, I pray for you, and I release that to you right now in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify your name, Father. We give you praise and we give you worship. Whoo, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, wow. Bless you, Jesus. Powerful night, guys. We've just begun. Powerful, 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 powerful night. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord and we glorify you and we magnify you. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Adonai. Wow, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes, Jesus is healer, uh, but Jesus is healer. It, he's healer. And, and that really goes into something that, you know, I wanted to share with you out of Isaiah. You know, Isaiah 53 says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Guys, we are a walking manifestation of our healing. You got to decree that out. Like if I have an ache or a pain attack my body, if I have something try and flare up, and guys, it will, okay? I have been healed of 15 different medical conditions from something very minor to something more severe without 
medical intervention. 15 health ailments without medical intervention. I was supernaturally healed of needing a root canal. I have a dentist verified report that I no longer needed a root canal. I had two torn labrum tendons for a year and a half. I could not go like this and put my hands behind my back for a year and a half. And I stood in faith and I decreed and I declared out. I had high blood pressure twice in my life and I got healed with again, doctor verified report. And so I know about simple afflictions to, you know, more strong things that require surgery. And I didn't need it because I stood in faith. I decreed, I declared, and I believed that it says by his stripes, we are healed. Now, what I really want you to receive tonight is it is your kingdom inheritance to walk in divine health. And I believe a lot of us don't receive the full manifestation of our healing because we don't own it, claim it, and proclaim it. The Bible says by his stripes I'm healed. It says, you know, sickness and disease have to leave and flee. <clears throat> but we don't believe it. We don't walk in it. We don't own it. And it is our kingdom inheritance. Look at, you know, Ephesians and Galatians. It'll tell you who you are in Christ. It'll say in Christ. We are in Christ. Sickness and disease do not have to plague our body. Now, does that mean it's never going to attack? No, it doesn't. Okay. The enemy still tries to attack me with sickness and disease. Now, I want to share something with you, and this is going to free some of you. The reason that he attacks you so greatly is because you have authority in that area, and you're armed, and you're dangerous for the kingdom of God, and he's trying to keep you bound. And when we allow that sickness and disease to penetrate our mind, we start walking in a victim and a defeat mentality. Woe is me. Look what's happening. I'm in fear. I'm in worry. I'm in stress. This is attacking my body. And we walk in defeat. I've had to catch myself sometimes being like, man, you're starting to talk and feel defeated. And we got to pull ourselves out of that place, out of that place. Don't talk about every health ailment that attacks you. It's going to put fear in you and fear in the people around you. Choose what you speak out. Because every time you speak out that physical condition, you're releasing words into the spiritual atmosphere and giving the enemy a ticket to ride on. Okay. Proverbs 18, 21 says death and life is in the power of the tongue. It's in the power of the tongue. Praise God. Kimberly said her neck and her head feel much better already. Glory to God. Guys, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And there's monitoring and familiar spirits that are hearing what you're speaking out. And so if you're speaking out, oh, I'm in pain. Oh, I had this happen to me. The devil's hearing your fear. He's hearing your concern. He's hearing your words. Your friends might be hearing it and cursing you. Your relatives might be talking about you. Okay. Now this isn't something we should be doing. Our what? Our confession can be our possession. Come on, who needed to hear that? Our confession, what we're confessing out, good or bad, is what we're going to possess. And some of you need to tighten your lips 
because a few weeks ago, this is what the spirit of the Lord told me. He said, Kathy, people are creating their own warfare by the words that they speak out. Come on, come on. Who needed to hear that? He said, they're creating their own warfare by the words that you speak out. Guys, Jesus spoke and he healed. The father spoke and created, okay? There's death and life in the power of the tongue. If you don't know it, guys, get this, okay? $7.99, I, I tell you, this is the best book. If, if you had to buy one book from me, this is the book I would tell you to buy, okay? Because that's what we're doing. We are, we're creating our own warfare. We're creating our own warfare by talking about it instead of declaring to it. He said, I give you authority. He didn't tell you to go and confess your problems to everybody. He didn't tell you to go run around getting everyone to pray for you. He said what? To speak to your mountain and it'll be removed. Come on. Proverbs 18, 21, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Now, what happens when you speak to someone about your health ailment or your medical condition? How many people do you really hear speak positively about it and be like, oh, come on, let's pray and take authority over that right now? Or how many people help you ride on that wave of defeat, ride on that wave of worry, ride on that wave of stress, all right? Let's just be frank and honest. Can I do that? Well, for those of you that don't know me, there's no other way. Kathy DeGraw is frank and honest, and I don't apologize for it ever because it's who God created me to be. But let's take a tangible example that I'm sure you could all relate to. COVID. I even dislike talking about COVID, okay? But here we had COVID plague for the last three years. Now where COVID has plagued, what's happened? Another person's fear went on your fear or your fear went to another person. Maybe you're someone that was never afraid of sickness and disease, but now the media hyped it all up, okay? Or your friend hyped it all up. And now what? You're afraid. Now, we should not put our fear on another person. We should not put our fear on another person. And so this is something that has happened. And we can stop it by controlling our own fear. Okay, we have to control our own fear. That's what the Lord showed me. He said, Kathy, he said, the principality of fear is in operation over the earth. And he said, when we don't control it, when we don't evict it, what happens is that fear goes on to everyone else and it feeds a principality of fear. Come on, ouch, that's truth. That's true. If you need to get delivered from fear, okay, I know a lot about fear. I was bound in fear for 40 years. I, I would say I'm a fear specialist. I hate to even say that, but I was, okay? And so what I want to say to you is my training platform, I have all my e-courses on sale for $4.99 to $14.99. And I have one that's called Destroy Fear and How to Conquer Fear. And so I want to encourage you, if someone can put the link up for me, training.kathydegrawministries.org. I have my witchcraft course, my trauma course, I have my generational curse, soul ties, I have fear, I have the prophetic, I have inner healing, I have food addictions, I have over 20 e-courses for $4.99 to $14.99, and you get a year access to them with my study notes, questions, it'll help you. It's the very courses I traveled around the world. I want you delivered from fear. I want you delivered. And guys, why I'm saying it, 
My next book comes out January 10. It's called Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace. It's all on worry, stress, anxiety, fear, and depression. So you can go and pre-order that on my website right now or Amazon, anywhere you order your books. You will not regret it. It is a manual. My books aren't books to read. They tell you how to do it. So let's pray over fear right now. Can we pray over fear? Who has fear? Put I do and let me pray for you. Guys, fear is related to allergies and asthma. So if you have allergies or asthma, you need to have fear released. So right now, and I want to I want to teach you something here. Right now, fear is a mind-binding spirit, guys. It's a mind-binding spirit. And when you've had fear, but you don't cast out the mind-binding spirit, you continue to manifest that fear. And you got to know that, okay? I teach about that in prophetic spiritual warfare, how the mind-binding spirit and fear spirit co-labor. And that's all what my new book, Mind Battles, is about, okay? But you can grab this one until the mind battle comes out because you've got to know. So right now, we're going to cast out these demons and I'm going to believe for a transition in your life. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to stress, anxiety, and worry, and I command it to come out, come out, come out, loose your hold. Spirit of depression, get out in Jesus' name. Fear, get out, get out. Say, guys, out loud right now, I want you to be like, I break agreement with fear. I command fear to get out of me, okay? Co-labor with me in your deliverance. Because it's this stress, anxiety, worry, fear, which is contributing to fibromyalgia. It is contributing to cancer. It is contributing to high blood pressure, diabetes, colon issues, so much more. So you got to get out the emotional ailment. And friends, that's why a lot of people don't receive their physical healing is because we are not looking at the spiritual correlation and we must cast out the demon so that we can see the full manifestation of our physical healing. When we look at the gospels, Jesus did the ministry of healing and deliverance together in the same verse. And that is the missing element of so many people deliverance. Come on, hit share. People need to know that there is a demon attached and that's why they're not getting physically healed. So I speak to that spirit of fear and I command it to get out of you in Jesus name. I take authority over that spirit of fear. I command it to go. Whew. Wow, I just felt it leave someone. I heard um, the Lord say, as I said that, somebody has fear from a trauma you suffered. And so I speak healing into that trauma right now in the name of Jesus. Who's ever feeling like that's for me, go over to my training platform. I have an e-course on how to get healed from trauma. So um, training.kathyintegralministries.org, get that trauma e-course. Someone's trauma and fear, it's like, it's like this. So I speak to that trauma in your life. I command it to be removed. I command it to be removed. You see, guys, we can cast the demons out, but sometimes we still need inner healing. And that's why I say grab the inner healing course, grab the generational course, grab the witchcraft course, grab that trauma course because we can cast out the demon, but we need inner healing and deliverance go hand in hand so that we can get free and stay free, get free and stay free. So I speak to that trauma and I command it to go. All right, guys, we're going to go further on this fear. Okay. Now a mind binding spirit, what does it do? It locks your mind down. You try and pray, you try and worship, you try and get into positivity. You try not to fear. You try to get in faith, but you feel like you just can't move. You feel like you're stuck. Who has felt that way? I want to pray for you. 
Who has felt like, man, no matter how hard I try and get free from rejection, it's not just fear that's associated with a mind-binding spirit. It also can be rejection. It can be anger. It can be pornography. It can be lust. Um, all of that, okay? You try, you're trying, you're doing everything that you know how to do, but you just feel paralyzed. You feel stuck. You just feel locked down. That is a mind-binding spirit. I will, you will get totally delivered through my book, Mind Battles, guys. You will get totally delivered. So pre-order it tonight before you forget. And if you order it through my website, I'll sign it. And I actually am going to get them in a couple weeks before it comes out. And we will ship them the minute we get them. So you won't even have to wait till January 10, okay? But I want to pray for that mind, body, spirit right now. So guys, I want you to put yourself in a position to receive right now. I speak to that spirit of fear and I command you out in Jesus' name. I speak to that mind-binding spirit. I command you out. Whew. Guys, when I'm praying like this, try and look right into my eyes so that the demons in you will connect with the Holy Spirit. Okay, that demon of fear or that demon of mind binding will see the Holy Spirit within me and get out. Okay. Just try and connect. If you were here in person, I'd be like staring you down. So just try and connect so that that demon comes out, break agreement with it. Say, get out in Jesus name, type up a comment. Okay. I love that. Clove that said, I felt that praise God. Okay. Um, I want you to type a comment, but I also want you to be speaking it wherever you are. Even if you're around people, you can say, spirit of fear, get out, okay? And that mind by needs spirit. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I apply the blood of Christ. I command no ungodly attachments, defilements, or transferences in Jesus' name. I speak to that spirit of fear, and I command it to leave. In Jesus' name, get out. Fear, get out. I command a spirit of torment to leave you. Whew, Jesus, I felt that leave someone right now. Someone's, I can even hear someone screaming right now in the spiritual realm that that torment is screaming on the way out. I take authority over that spirit of torment and I command you to get out. The blood of Jesus is on my friends. The blood of Jesus right now. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mind-binding spirits, get out. I remove your assignment. You will not lock people down anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. The dust started coughing right there. Hallelujah. Get out of her. In the name of Jesus. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Fear, get out. Torment and mind binding. That's what I want you guys to do right now. Wherever you are, say fear, get out. Torment, get out. Mind binding spirit, get out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every spirit of fear to get out. Every mind binding spirit, get out. Every spirit of torment, get out. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, release them. Release them in Jesus' name. Release them. Release them. Hallelujah. Father, bless them. Holy Spirit, fill them up. Fill them up. Holy Spirit, fill them up in the name of Jesus. Shalom, peace. Shalom, peace. Okay, I want to know who felt a release. Put that in there. Who felt a release? Hallelujah. Scarlet, I command that demon to come up and out of you in Jesus' name. Up and out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Look at that. Lori, Donna, Catherine felt a release. Judy. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, Susan. Whoo, Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Speak to it. Command it out. Command it out. Break agreement. Command it out. You have more authority than I do. Okay. You have more authority. I command that mind binding spirit to loose you in Jesus name. 
in Jesus' name. All these are good manifestations, guys. For some of you, you know, you're like, I'm coughing, I'm feeling nauseated, I'm burping. In my book, Discerning and Destroying the Works of Satan, I give a list of all the ways demons can be expelled. How do you know if you have a demon? How do you know if it's left? Okay. And so I want to encourage you to get this. Guys, if you saw this on Sid Roth, I want you to get the pack that Sid Roth has because I have a Floor Glory audio CD set, which will help you manifest your healing. So you can go over to It's Supernatural. You can link to it from my Facebook page or go over to It's Supernatural. It's right up on Sid's site. Okay. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the God. I, I just praise God. But right now, God, I just ask you to fill my friends up. I ask you to fill them up. Catherine felt it really huge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fill them up right now in the name of Jesus. Fill them up. Hallelujah. Fill them up. Fill them up right now. Right now. Right now. Fill them up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Rosa. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Deborah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Guys, just take a deep breath in and breathe it out. Go. And as you do that, sometimes demons are just expelled that way. Okay. Because we want all these things gone so that you can manifest your healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Fear is gone. Bless the Lord, Nikki. Hallelujah. Whoo, Jesus, come on. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Catherine says, I placed three orders for your books and enrolled in a course. Loving all they have gotten from you so far. Ordering more on Tuesday. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for those orders. Whoo, Jesus. Since um since she mentioned that, guys, I want to let you know. Um we have like the biggest, you know, Catherine says I placed three orders. We have the biggest resource sale going on right now. I took my cyber sale and I left it up. But also, I am liquidating my prayer shawls. I am liquidating my graphic t-shirts. They're only $7.99. I'm selling them for cost. I'm liquidating all my anointing oil. We have jewelry. We have um, artwork with scripture on it. Today, I am liquidating these because I'm changing the covers on these. And so this is my baptism of fire and power. It talks about gifts and language of the Holy Spirit, tongues, but it also talks about the baptism of fire, according to Isaiah 11, 2, and how to walk in the fire of God. And this one is my prophetic proclamations book. This is all positive proclamations. And I even give you journal pages and things to write declarations for. And so that is a help to my book, Speak Out, which I put this for $7.99, guys. I can't even buy it anymore for that, but I wanted to get it in your hands. And I know a lot of you have heard Discerning and Destroying the Works of Satan. The declarations I read at the beginning are printed out in here. And I love Unshackled. This is Inner Healing and Deliverance Together, okay? Inner Healing and Deliverance Together. All these are on sale, really, really cheap. And Prophetic Spiritual Warfare, this is my latest book. This is on scene in the spiritual realm, principalities, witchcraft, Jezebel, Leviathan, sentinel spirits. It's on how to build a warrior's heart. How do I conquer spiritual warfare prophetically led by the Holy Spirit? Guys, this is based off my podcast. My podcast has had over a million downloads. It, I drop a new episode every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And guys, my podcast is like 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to listen to it. So I want to encourage you, wherever you listen to, to subscribe to podcast, 
to listen to my podcast is really powerful. And this book was birthed off my podcast. And for those of you that have never joined our e-church tonight is every Sunday night at 7 p.m. We have e-church. I teach. I just move prophetically whatever the Lord wants. But guys, the one resource I really want to encourage you to get tonight is my anointing oil. Ron and I have been busy the last, he did it this afternoon. I did it yesterday. We have a two dram anointing oil. I am including with the orders, it's called Healing Miracles Special Edition. I am including 25, 25 PowerPoints of how I got healed from those 15 different health ailments things that I didn't talk about tonight, I haven't been talking on Facebook or YouTube, how I got healed and manifested that. And so I want to encourage you, you know, he, anointing oil is a re representation of the Holy Spirit, okay? And we are including prayer cloths with them that I'm personally have cut. I'm anointing with oil. I filled the oil, Ron filled the oil. So we're doing all of it ourselves, okay? And so I want to encourage you, get some for your friends, get some for your pastor, and we're going to ship them out tomorrow. The team is coming in tomorrow to ship them, but we're probably going to sell out, so don't forget to get them. It's a special edition. You're going to get an oil. You're going to get a cloth. You're going to get my 25 tips to manifest your healing, and they all come in a velvet gift bag, okay? So you can keep it in your pocket. Get one for your bathroom. I'm telling everyone, put your anointing oil in your bathroom. Put one on your prayer table and one in your bathroom so you remember to anoint yourself every single day, okay? And just make it part of your routine. Bless the Lord. So you guys can shop at kathydegrawministries.org. So, all right, healing, guys. It's your kingdom inheritance. Now, I want you to start decreeing out in your life, in your personal prayer time, I am a walking manifestation of my healing. I am a walking manifestation of my healing. If you're on Facebook and YouTube, a lot of people are asking the link, okay? They're putting it up in the comments. And it's also Kathy with a K, D-Graw, D-E-G-R-A-W, ministries.org. Your walking manifestation of your healing. And you almost have to get like some holy arrogance, guys. I am a walking manifestation of my healing. By Christ's stripes, I'm healed. It's your kingdom inheritance. And I was listening to something this week and I thought, you know what? That's really powerful. We have to renew our mind. We know it. We know it's our kingdom inheritance, but we really have to own it. We have to renew our mind to be like, this is my inheritance. This is my inheritance. My husband uh, taught me this years ago and I, and I love this. So I'm going to do it the way he did it. So this is my inheritance. Okay. So we're talking about healing. So what he said is to say it out loud and every time put an emphasis on a different word. So we're going to say, this is my inheritance. Okay. This meaning healing. This, it helps you to understand it. This is, is, okay. What is, is it's now this is, is, okay. Did you feel that ownership is this is my, my, okay? Now the next time you say it, you're gonna say, this is my inheritance, okay? Now what? You just possess that. This is my inheritance. And then you say inheritance. This is my inheritance, okay? So you see that? And so that's what I want you to do is every time you say it, Say it out loud and put an emphasis on a different word. This is my inheritance, okay? Or I am a walking manifestation of my healing. I am a walking manifestation of my healing. I am a walking manifestation of my healing. I am a, I am a walking, okay? You get it? I want you to emphasize it because the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And I believe we can also use that for what we're decreeing and declaring out. As we 
decree that out. Jerry at the end pat. I think that's great. They typed it in there like that. I like that. Um, as we decree it out, we hear it. And that faith, that that ownership comes back upon us. I can't tell you how much it's burning in my heart that God wants you healed. Okay. Um, he wants you healed and I want you healed. Why is it so important for me to get you healed? Because I believe you have a destiny. I believe you have something to accomplish for the kingdom of God. And I believe that you're going to accomplish that. But for some of you, you're being hindered because you're not healed. And the Lord showed me, put up in the comments real quick for me, if this is your first time listening to me, because I want to, I want to see like, who knows this prophetic word that I'm going to release. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. I'm waiting to see who's putting up. This is your first time. If, if you're a first timer, so I can see how many, why I'm finding out. Whom, how many are first timers? I want to tell you, I have a mentoring platform. It's called an intense discipleship. And that's the same place as my e-courses are. It's training.kathydegraministries.org. I meet with people on Zoom in a group once a week. We have text conversations. We have um, email assignments. We minister together. And so if you're looking for an intense discipleship, it's not just a mentoring, guys. This is intense. If you want someone to pull out and root out your destiny, this is where you want to be into my inner circle, it's called. And Rachel just put that uh, link up there for you. Look at all these first timers. Well, praise God. I want to bless you. I want to welcome you to my church. It's called Prophetic Spiritual Warfare, just like the podcast and the book. I want to welcome you to our family. We're really about building relationship and um, building community and being relational. And every Sunday night, we also take communion. So make sure you bring your communion to um, your electronic device. Some of the people that are commenting in the chat are my inner circle members, my interns, and my team. So they're helping you along. So I want to welcome you here. But this is the word of the Lord that I'm really um, hearing for 2023 as that God is going to release your destiny. God wants to build business and he wants to launch ministries and he wants to change around financial situations. And the reason I believe that we need our inner healing, our deliverance and our physical healing is because I believe with everything in me, there is going to be a lot of ministries launched by the end of 2023. There's going to be a lot of businesses created and flourishing during 2023. And there is going to be financial turnaround through entrepreneur, through business, through creativity. And one of the things that I am diligently working on is helping people do that. And one of the ways I do that is through my inner circle. But we're also having four conferences next year. Um, build, excel um propel no we did propel launch and there's another one um establishes one i know that so we're going to do three to four conferences and each one is going to lead and all co-labor together to release your destiny whether it's business or whether it's ministry and so why it's so important to get your physical healing and deliverance is because jesus said i want you to make disciples Okay, I believe there's a world that needs to be reached and I can't reach them all. Kenneth Copeland can't reach them all or Perry Stone or whoever you follow can't reach them all. We need everybody launching their ministry, their business so that we can go out and reach the world and change the world. And that's why I feel like it's so important for you to manifest your healing because some of you don't have the energy and some of you don't have the strength. OK, and so I want to encourage you to just press through to your breakthrough like never before. Press through to your breakthrough. Who Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. 
Bless the name of the Lord. Okay, Lana said, I just felt healing in my spine. Glory to God. Come on, guys. Give praise. Give praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes, I love this. Okay, Rhonda, Judy, they're in my inner circle. They're praying for some of you guys in the chat. Okay, so put up your prayer request. Let us know when you get healed. Okay, let us know. Hit share again, guys. Hit share. We're not done. But I want to take a moment. Let's take communion. I think this is a good time to take communion right now. Hallelujah. Guys, right here. Now I dropped mine. Thanks. All right. Right here. This is healing. This is healing right now, guys. Right now. And so I want you to get this and I want you to expect that as you partake, you are going to get healed. You're going to get healed. Do you believe it? If you are sick in your body, I encourage you to take this one to three times a day based on what the Holy Spirit's telling you. Like if you have the flu, something really bad, I'd be taking this one, two, three times a day. Anything that you're standing in agreement for, this is healing. So let's take our communion. If you don't, guys don't have communion, get the cracker, get bread, get something that can be a representation. Hallelujah. So, Lord, I thank you for the atonement. I thank you for what this purchased. I thank you. Your word says, by Christ's stripes, we are healed. And we take this now and receive our healing. Hallelujah. If you don't have communion with you, just keep, just say, by Christ's stripes and peel. Okay? Just believe it. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. One drop of his blood, it's all it took to purchase your healing. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory. Woo! Hallelujah. Wow. I love it when you take communion and you feel the power of God. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. I love this all that's going on in the chat. I love you guys ministering to each other. Rhonda and Judy, thank you for praying. Beth, thank you for praying. I love this, guys. I love this. This is what our inner circle community is about and our team and our interns. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Who's feeling better? Who feels like something left? Maybe um, condemnation or forgiveness or um, who's feeling something in their body that that changed? Let me know. Like, what what are you feeling? Okay. Um, who, who's like, man, I felt a, a physical manifestation. Look at that. Donna, Lori, Deborah, um, Kimberly, God bless you all. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Come on, put it up in the chat. Be like, man, I, I feel a little bit lighter. Vanessa, Andrea, Karina, hallelujah. Kimberly, hallelujah. Ellen, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Catherine, whole body, mind. Thank you, Jesus. I love this. Come on, share. Look at what the Lord is doing. Give God some praise. Valerie feels extremely blessed. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Cynthia, your mind is released. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Bless the name of the Lord. Laura feels better and lifted. Hallelujah. Lori, how do you become part of the inner circle? Go to training.cathydegraministries.org. At the top says memberships. It'll tell you all about the inner circle. Diane feels a release. Mary Bell feels more peace and joy. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Clementine feels light. Thank you, Jesus. Scarlett, nausea left after communion. Give God some praise. Woo. Hallelujah. Nada says, I feel lighter after watching the witchcraft bands and mind binding spirit video. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you. I love that. Judy says, thank you, Jesus, for your love. Yes. Thank you for your love. 
Guys, that's the thing I love about the Lord. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. And that's what you need to know. That's how you keep that perseverance. And, and that's how you keep that hope is, is just to know that Jesus wants to heal you. It is his desire. Kadisha just put the exact link up on Facebook to the inner circle if someone's inquiring. Um, wow, God's mighty right hand is here. All right, let's pray again, okay? We're not done. We're not done. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father, and we thank you. I command every spirit of rejection that's attacked you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of rejection to leave you in the name of Jesus. Every defeat to leave you in the name of Jesus. Um, someone struggling with arthritis, I command that to leave right now. I uh, Like a right index finger is what I'm getting. I command healing on that right now in the name of Jesus. I command thyroids to come into alignment with the word of God. I command adrenals to come into alignment with the word of God. I command high blood pressure and high cholesterol to get out in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command stability in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against a spirit of inflammation and I command it to go right now in the name of Yeshua. I plead the blood of Christ over you. I call forth creative miracles over your body right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to eyes and I say 2020. I command all floaters to go. I command your cornea, your optical nerve, your retina to be normal in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak a decree for perfect 2020 vision in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, someone has a hard time seeing at night. I command that to be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will have no difficulties um, driving at night and seeing at night in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to issues on the skin, rosacea, psoriasis, I command eczema to go in the name of Jesus, inflammation to go in the name of Jesus. I command creative miracles, okay? There's power in the name of Jesus. Guys, just say Jesus. Whoo! Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. Whoo! Yeah. Right now, um, I saw that, okay? My husband typed up creative miracles, and as I saw that, I, I just heard like, say the name of Jesus, just say the name of Jesus and that, wow. Okay. We don't have to pray. Sometimes we just say the name of Jesus um, by page 16 in this book. There's a testimony that some man's life was literally saved. He goes, I didn't have time to call an ambulance. He goes, I just screamed out the name of Jesus because what you taught me and his life was healed. His life was saved. So just Jesus, 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 Jesus. My husband's getting a word of knowledge, someone with a missing kidney. So we call forth that creative miracle for that kidney to come forth. I call forth spleens to come back in, gallbladders to come back in, in the name of Jesus. I command... Um, body parts that have been amputated to grow back in the name of Jesus. My husband was praying before we got on about legs and arms growing. And so right now I speak to legs, anyone who has a back problem, a hip problem, any walking problem, I speak to your legs right now and I command them to grow and align in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoo. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father. Whoo. I felt that. Okay. I felt that. I command shoulders. I'm getting something with shoulders. Who has shoulder pain? Who has um, something, a lack of arm movement? I even want you to go out like this right now. See if one arm is shorter than the other. And I command that shoulder to grow, that arm to grow. I command them to align right now in the name of Jesus. Who's feeling their arm move? Someone's physically feeling their arm move. I even believe it's um, someone's feeling their right arm. Someone's being healed. Rhonda, there it is. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Healing right now in the name of Jesus. My husband's getting a um, heart chamber or vessels being restored. I was getting something with the heart earlier. So I agree in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. Whoo. Hallelujah. If my team is getting any words of knowledge, please put it up in the chat so I can call it out. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Decree and declare into your own situation, guys. Decree and declare. Bless the name of the Lord. All right, guys, I want to stop a minute. I want to take a break. And uh, for those of you that are part of our church, this is a time that we give our tithes and our offerings. If you're new, we give relational offerings. We're giving them unto the Lord. The Lord says he loves a cheerful giver. And so I want to just take a break a minute and give the Lord what's his. If you want to sow into our ministry, what we're doing, sow a seed. I want to encourage you to do that, okay? You're going to reap what you sow. And so we're going to put up the giving links for you right now, okay, so that you can give. Um, you can give at Cash App, dollar sign, K DeGraw Ministries. You can give at PayPal.me, K DeGraw Ministries. Or you can give at Kathy DeGraw ministries.org. But we want to encourage you, if you're given your tithe and offering, there's a spot there called relational offering. And uh, guys, we already prayed, Ron and I already paid today for our financial partners. And so we were praying for them and that God would bless you. So we got those links up for you guys, cash app, dollar sign, Katergraw Ministries, paypal.me backslash Katergraw Ministries or Kathy DeGraw Ministries .org. And as Ron and I started our day out today, we were praying for all our financial partners. And so we take that very seriously. And um, we know that God wants to do great and amazing things. So I just want to encourage you, if this is your home church, give your tithe and offering. If it's not your home church, we invite you to have it be your home church. And if you just feel blessed by the service and want to sow a good seed, we encourage you to do that. So I'm just going to let you guys do that in a minute. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm just reading the comments to see what else we have to pray for while you make your offering. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, bless the name of the Lord. We give you praise, God, and we give you honor and we give you glory. Hallelujah. Someone saying, Can you pray over our dreams? Um, speak sweet sleep, okay? Speak sleep, sweet sleep, pray scriptures over them, okay? Um, take authority because, guys, I'm going to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads. But I also want you to take authority. And that's what I teach in my book, Speak Out, is how do you take authority? Because Jesus said, I give you authority. And so I will pray as the Holy Spirit leads, but I want to empower you to pray. That's what I'm really passionate about, is how do I empower you to pray? Because that's really important to make sure that you are empowered to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Carol, I come against um, that defeat feeling that you are feeling in the name of Jesus. And I speak and decree that you are blessed and abundant in God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for everyone right now. We just command miracles to come forth. Miracles from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. From the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Guys, right now, just if you have your anointing oil, anoint your head, put your hand on your head, be like, I command, I command healing in my body. Speak it out with me. I command healing in my body, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God, my healer, I command healing to manifest in my body right now. Come on, come on, hit share, guys. Still share this. People need this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need many miracles. That's okay. God will provide every miracle that you need. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. Phyllis, I command healing on you right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rhonda, I stand in agreement. All scar tissue in your left ankle to leave right now in the name of Jesus. I command it burned up and dissolved in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Sheila, I pray 
miracles upon you, miracles upon miracles, that God would transform your body right now in the name of Jesus. And um, even creative miracles internally is what I'm seeing. Maybe there's an organ. Um, I speak right now in the name of Jesus. Donna, I pray for your mind, for any learning disabilities to be reversed. I speak and decree that you have the mind of Christ in Jesus Christ's name. I command your mind to come into alignment to the word of God. Hallelujah. Bless the name. I just feel God's over this, guys. He is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Father God, we worship you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak to knees and we command them to not have water on the knee. We command cartilage to be in proper balance right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse diabetes and I command it to go. I command your cells to receive insulin in Jesus Christ's name. I curse high blood pressure and I command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak and decree for feet. I'm hearing something about feet right now. So in the name of Jesus, I command all feet to be restored in Jesus' name. I curse cancer. I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. We pray for that. Um, all yeast to be removed from your body, Carol, in the name of Jesus Christ. Command a proper balance of pH in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak and decree to every sinus issue in Jesus Christ's name. Um, healing in a sinus cavity is what I'm getting for somebody. Who is that? Um, someone needs um, sinus healing and restoration in Jesus Christ's name. You've even had some breathing issues and breathing problems. I command that to be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory, glory. All right. There was the sinus. There was another sinus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Just healing in Jesus name. Healing in Je Look at that. Look at all the sinus issues. I love it. God knows what he's talking about, doesn't he? Hallelujah. I command the floaters in your eyes to leave in the name of Jesus. I command everyone that has floaters in their eyes, those floaters to leave right now. Whoo, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Yes. Praise Jesus for healing your people. Hallelujah. Digestive system. Yes. Be healed in the name of Jesus. And I just command the anointing oil of God, the blood of Jesus to go through digestive issues in the name of Jesus to go through intestinals and bowels and colons in the name of Jesus. I command total healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. I'm just feeling, guys, right now, I'm feeling a, a healing and deliverance anointing. So I just release that to you. Jesus knows exactly what you need it for. Right now, in the name of Jesus, just be like, I receive. I feel in the presence of God. Some of you are actually feeling the presence and the power of God on your hands. Just release that to you right now. I love that path. Jesus is, yes, he is a great physician and we thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. I just feel in that, that presence of God. Hallelujah. For healing and deliverance simultaneously right now in the name of Jesus. Guys, it doesn't always have to be an intense prayer. God's coming in with his glory. And right now he's just doing it. He's just releasing it. And that's what we want. We want God to be God. Hallelujah. Jan, I pray for healing in your colon right now. Total restoration in the name of Jesus. Mark, I pray for, um, I stand in agreement with you that you're praying for all of us with digestive issues. And so I say healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cindy, I will put up um, our ministry address for you. Bless the name of the Lord. For those of you that can only give through check, we're going to put that address up for you right now. 
So you can um, write a check out to KDM or Kathy DeGraw Ministries. And um, I will put that mailing P.O. box up there right now. P.O. box 65, Granville, Michigan, 49468. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sheila. Holy Spirit is always powerful. Hallelujah. Lori, I pray for a safe delivery for your baby in the name of Jesus. I speak in decree for health, healing, that you will carry the baby to serve, uh, full term. And I command there will be no issues in delivery in the name of Jesus. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ron was getting jaw dental issues being healed. So put your hand. If you got your anointing oil, guys, I love anointing oil because it's a representation of the Holy Spirit. There's power in this. I have like just anointed my hands, guys. And I came this close, like five inches away from a lady once and all the demons started manifesting out because it's a representation of the Holy Spirit. Okay, we prayed over it. We've done it. And so take your anointing oil right now. Put it on your jaw. Put it on your teeth your mouth. I don't care where it is. Put it inside. With ours, you could literally anoint your tooth if you wanted, okay? It has high quality pure essential oils that um, you can put it inside on your tooth or something. And so put, anoint yourself right now. And guys, I got to encourage you, get high quality anointing oil where you know it came from. Don't order it off Amazon. Don't get the stuff that has fragrance. Even some of the stuff that says it's from Israel and Jerusalem is full of commercially modified stuff and fragrance. You have to know, okay? You have to know um, that it's good in quality. And anointing oil goes bad. So don't use oil you've had around for like a year, guys. Anointing oil goes bad. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Deb's praying for Lori again. Beth is getting a word of knowledge. Joint pain and arthritis be gone. So we just command that joint pain and that arthritis to be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command it to release. We command it to release. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm just reading all the comments. Um, Isabel, you can pay. It's um, Isabel said, um, you're asking about PayPal. If you just go, it's it's the same. Just go through it. Or we have paypal.me uh, backslash K DeGraw Ministries. Yes, you can order oil and we do ship to Canada. That's already on the website. Guys, we ship internationally. If your country doesn't come up, just um, fill out our contact us form on the website and we can help you. If some of you need to, you know, order by check or it's not working, just, you know, be like, hey, can you help me place the order and fill out the contact form on the website? Hallelujah. Okay, Marquita received for the index finger on the right hand. Glory. Hallelujah. Woo, I love it when the God gets words of knowledge. Okay, my husband, my team, anyone else have any other words of knowledge? Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Whoo. Minister Robinson, it was a testimony of the glory of God when I prayed about three minutes ago. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Shadreen says, joint pain and arthritis, God. Woo! Yes! Hallelujah. Okay, guys, if you had something manifest in tonight's service, quick put it up again, even if you already put it up so everyone can see. I know some of you like don't like to put it up. You don't like your name. But if you felt like this was healed or this was delivered, put it up so people can be like, hey, this works. Okay. We saw the power of God. We saw healing manifest. We saw deliverance manifest. I want to encourage you to put it up. Don't forget when you get off tonight, go over to the website and shop. I have a clearance bottle of oil for $1.99. I have all the Life in the Spirit magazines for $1.99. We have um, only eight prayer shawls left as the time I got on. We have, don't forget, the books, okay? All the books that are on clearance. 
I tell you guys, you can just do your Christmas shopping in one way, one place. Get a graphic t-shirt for somebody. Get it for yourself. Uh, just buy your Christmas presents and your spiritual tools in one spot and support uh, small business. Amen. Hallelujah. Lori says, I've been receiving some type of deliverance since I watched the last four or five times. That's great. Sometimes I never knew what I was delivered of. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory. Glory. All right, guys. What a fabulous night. Let's pray one more time, okay? So, Father God, we just thank you for everything that you released. We thank you for everything that you've established. We thank you for all the healing and all the deliverance. We seal it in that the devil will not steal, kill, or destroy one word. And we thank you and praise you, God, for everyone that sowed a financial seed tonight. I just pray abundant blessings back on their finances. I just pray that you'll open those ministry doors, those entrepreneurs' ideas, that financial increase right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, I speak and decree right now for a divine turnaround in everyone's situation, for angels to be dispatched, that there will be no retribution from the enemy for what happened tonight. I command every spirit of infirmity and affliction to get out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command every spirit of fear and torment and mind binding spirit to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you and praise you, Father God, for the creative miracles that are still coming. Guys, I'm still feeling the presence and the power of God. God just going through right now. And so I just release that father God, you know, what every person needs individually, Jesus, that you would be their healer. I thank you that you are Lord. I thank you that you are transforming them into your likeness. I thank you that they're going from glory to glory to glory. And I thank you, father God, that no weapon formed against them will prosper and every sickness or plague that's attempting to invade their body would be evicted now by the blood of Yeshua Messiah. I bless you. And I praise you father and i give you the glory i thank you for sending jesus to die for us to heal us and i praise you god for what you are going to continue to do even after people get off the broadcast how your glory still goes forth it manifests your presence still goes forth and that people are going to be transformed and i thank you for the testimonies that are going to come rolling in in Jesus name. Amen. Guys, we've had so many testimonies come in this week of healing of people getting instantly healed. And so even if after you get off the broadcast, I had a lady I prayed for in a meeting once and I prayed for her for arthritis and the time she walked out to her car after the meeting, she was totally healed. I went back to that state um, years later and she goes, look, I'm still healed. All arthritis was gone. And so even if you didn't feel something physically now, don't put doubt in the minute you get off. Know that you're going to walk in the full manifestation of your healing. Keep saying, I'm a full manifestation of my healing. Healing is my inheritance. And look for the symptoms to subside. Even by morning, I had someone the other day say, you prayed for me at church. And by Monday, all my gout was gone. And so God is releasing just crazy miracles, I like to call them, over the internet right now. So believe and receive. Guys, thanks for joining. Head over to the website, kathydegraministries.org. And I'll see you next week back here, 7 p.m. Eastern. Thank you.